in two days, since this is Monday, ugh, sorry, I'm getting these messages by somebody, we will be seeing history unfold when Senator Cory Booker of New Jersey testifies against Senator of Alabama and uh, tr President-elect Trump, um, Attorney General nominee Jeff Sessions. It'll be the first time that a sitting senator has testified against another sitting senator during a confirmation. And Booker put out a statement where he said, you know, I am aware of the ramifications of this, but I just can't in good conscience let a man with these type of views have that kind of power. And, um, for those who are unfamiliar, Sessions has had allegations of racism against them before. Um, and he just doesn't, uh, you know, p pick a fight, really. Because the problem I'm seeing over and over again, and I, I need to keep making this clear, I am probably the most liberal guy that, that exists. But an issue I see over and over again within the democratic liberal circle is to go along almost blindly with whatever the popular opinion is at the time. And I'm not trying to say that if someone refuses to be different, they're automatically, or if someone chooses to be the same as most others, they're wrong. I'm not suggesting that at all. I am saying that it's so hard for me to believe that this man has a genuine outrage to the point that he's doing this for any other reason than to begin testing the waters for a 2020 presidential bid. I mean, you can you can tell the mile away when they go and do things of this nature. Oh, see, see, I'm the first one in history to ever oppose the, uh, another senator that was trying to get confirmed. See, see, I stood out there, I stood out there. You know, it's not, it's, it's really not hard to tell. Oh, and in a way it's kind of smart, but in a way it's also kind of ridiculous because going after Sessions or Trump or any other um, member of his cabinet is not going to help you win the next two election cycles. It's going to help you lose because it's going to show you uh, supporters of Democrats that are not Democrats. You're not, you know, bound to the party by the hip or anything. It's going to display just how petty they are. I think Sanders today was, you know, he made a statement along the lines of don't repeat what Republicans did where they block out everything you try to do. And that's exactly what they're doing here. Let the man get in office. Let's see how he does things. I keep having to explain, I am not conservative. I am not Republican, but I am open-minded. And I have seen Democrats in office. I have seen them fail. Okay? So it, it's, it really shouldn't be this hard for people to figure out, yeah, they're just just being uh, ridiculous and playing partisan politics. Um, so uh, that's my issue with it. We'll see what happens. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Or good night, rather.